Hey, it's BT with the BT Sepang GP review. Let's get right to it. Ride of the Race Moto 3. I'm getting right to it. Ride of the Race Moto 3 goes to Jamie Massio. What he did was incredible. The guy, a little home alone is what I call him. He's so cute. You always want to go, little Jamie. Good luck in your race, little Jamie. Great race he did. Um, uh, uh, if you guys want to watch F1, if you think this is boring, just watch F1. You know, get even more bored. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I love F1 anyway. Um, when Jamie Massey did, his bike cut out on him on the siding lap. Little Home Alone could have went, <clears throat> but he didn't. He gathered it together, started from last on the grid, and finished on the podium. Let me tell you something. That's the mind of a champion. He wasn't rattled. I'm sure he was, but he kept it together. And that's what Mark Marquez did back in the 125 days for the championship. Remember in uh, Portugal, that's the home of Pretty Boy, you know, Ronaldo, Ronaldo. Um, remember his bike, something was wrong with his bike. They had to put it back together in the last seconds or he would have been disqualified. Marquez kept together, won the championship. And that's what Jamie Massia did. Incredible ride for him, ride of the race, Jamie Massia. Uh, honorable mention is Sergio Garcia, what that kid did, 16 years old. Watch out for him. He's going to be a champion. 16 years old, Sergio Garcia. Uh, the uh, heartbreak goes to uh, Arenas, uh, Albert Arenas. Um, but he ran into my boy, Celestino Viete. And even though it's racing, that's racing. He, he, he you know, ran into him and, and knocked him off the line. He, it prevented him from a podium. So, you know. Anyway, uh, so ride of the race, uh, definitely uh, Jamie Massia. And uh, heartbreak goes to... Um, uh, arenas moto two i give it to Al uh, alex marquez what alex marquez did he felt the pressure mark said it best it's hard to be the brother of and even though he was under pressure he won the championship and god bless the kid he did what it took let me tell you something i said the championship isn't divided into three parts of the season okay the first part when they go to qatar when they go to uh this south america north america but then they go to Europe, and that's the second part of the season. That's when the season really gets mm, you, mm, the meat of the season. And then, and then it's almost like the playoffs, right? Even though they're tired, they got to go on the fly. With the flyaways, really make or break the championship. Remember when Maverick Vinales walked away from his team uh, during the Moto Two? I think the first Moto, no, first Moto Three championship. He walked away from the team, and they said, "Oh, you don't get back here. We're gonna sue your ass." And he flew back. He ended up winning the championship that year. Remember that? So the flyaways really decided to win the championship, and God bless. Uh, I, like I said, I, I, I give it up to Alex Marquez. He felt the pressure. Even his brother said, stay off social media. I was hard on the kid, but he did what it took. He felt the pressure. The, the water was here. He could go. And he kept it together to win the championship. And the heartbreak goes to Brad Bender. Brad Bender was coming. You give him three more races, he could have taken back at least two more races. Uh, two bad races, he could have won the championship, but he didn't. And heartbreak to him. He came. He was coming. He was coming. But I got to give it to Alex Marquez. Uh, let's go to MotoGP. Let me tell you something. MotoGP. And I'm going to start off with the qualifying. Everybody talks about what Marquez did. Let me tell you something. Uh, uh, getting a toe is not illegal. And, and a block pass is not illegal. As a matter of fact, a block pass he, to me is even more um, kind of not really dirty. But it's within the uh, the parameter of, 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 of racing. And that being said... Mark was kind of being a dick. Let me just be honest. He's kind of being a dick to, uh, to Fabio. And Dave Emmett, who is a great writer for Moto Matters, uh, check him out. And also writes for AsphaltAndRubber.com. Even he said, who you going to believe, Marquez or your lying eyes? Because Marquez said, honestly, I was looking for somebody. I was looking for somebody else to get a toe from. Really? Who, Mark? Who? Really? Let's be honest. Were, 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 you, were you looking for your teammate? Everybody's been looking for your teammate. Matter of fact, there's a witness relocation program. And I think your teammate's in it. Anyway. So I don't know why he did it to Fabio. Even Fabio was getting frustrated. Finally, he goes, I got to go. And he, and he went. And let me tell you something, man. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve it. But, man, that high side was nasty. I don't wish it on anybody. That was a nasty high side. He joined the Malaysian um, space program. He really did. I don't know if they have one, but they have one now. And Mark Marquez is the head astronaut because he was flying. And he showed pain for the first time ever I've seen Marquez go. He thought the cameras were away. Remember, he was walking back to his garage, and he, was, and he kind of bent over. You know, he was in some pain, but he compartment. I want Here's what I want you guys to do. Tell me an athlete in any sport right now, current, any sport right now, who's mentally stronger than Mark Marquez. Sh sh name one. I want somebody to comment. Name me an athlete right now who's mentally stronger than Mark Marquez in any sport. Because let me tell you something. He compartmentalized. He celebrated with his brother, which I loved. It could have been like a Cain and Abel from the Bible. But no, he celebrated with his brother. They won the championship. And he celebrated with him, which is what you should do. And then, you know, he was hurting and he went out. And what he did on that first lap, 
Mark Marquez is the straw that stirs the drink, okay? You can say what you want bad about him, and maybe uh, 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 deservedly so. He's very aggressive, but he makes these races, because take away Mark from that race, and it was like, eh. And what he did is unbelievable. He makes these guys look like they're doing a track day. He makes those guys look like they're me, like there's a, there's a grid full of me doing a track day. And if you ever seen me on a track day, I'm slower than molasses going uphill on Christmas Eve. That's how slow I am. And Mark makes these guys look like amateurs. What he did on that first lap was like unbelievable. But Maverick, man, you got to give it to Maverick. Uh, he was catching too. He got it down to 1.4. Then he said he made a mistake and then Maverick won by three uh, three seconds. But what Mark did, uh, he, made it, uh, he made it interesting. Also, you got to give it to Maverick Vinales. He's my ride of the races, Maverick Vinales. For what Vinales did... Uh, he won by three seconds, and 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 he's been they've been backhanded complimenting him how he should have won races, and uh, and uh, what the Yamaha said about him, they said in Phillip Island they go yeah he crashed, but it was good to see Maverick putting himself out there like that, or because or, they said Maverick didn't really put himself out there like that. That's what he said. Basically, what he said is Maverick's not pushing himself really. What Maverick said really, I'm not pushing myself really. LJ really, Lynn Jarvis really, you gonna treat me like Turner and Hooch, like I'm some kind of dog. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can. Let me see you pass somebody on, 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 on a 140 mile an hour sweeper on the outside, on the front end I can't feel. Meanwhile, I'm getting the, 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 back, the back wheel is spinning. All right? I'm trying, bro. But they do have a point because he was like within a second and he didn't really push himself. But like I said, that's him risking his life. And I'll get to that uh, later. But uh, anyway, props to Maverick Vinales for doing what it took to win. Uh, like a ride of the race, I give it to Maverick Vinales. I kind of want to give it to Mark Marquez for what he did. That was unbelievable, that first lap. If he wasn't tussling with Jack Miller, he would have gotten, um, he would have got ride of the race. I kind of want to, honorable mention, honorable mention Mark Marquez for ride of the race. Uh, for heartbreak, I got to give it to the Patronus team. Whoa, what happened? They they don't know. They're going, I, I don't know what happened. It's like, it's, like, it's like you're going out with somebody and you think everything's going good and you're going to have a great date and you think this might be the one and they break up and you go, I don't know what happened. I mean, we had great sex, and uh, I bought her a tennis bracelet, and I paid for the meal, and then she just said, take her home, and I never want to see you again. I don't know what happened. That's what that race was. Even Fabio was like, I don't know. And and Frankie was like, yeah. So, Hartenberg goes to Patrona's team, and, um, and by the way, uh, uh, did Team Suzuki adopt Miley Cyrus? Because that team went from Team Suzuki to Team Wrecking Ball. Because they came in like a wrecking ball. What got into those guys, both of those dudes? For Amir, Johan Mir, who's a sweetheart, he runs into Johan Zarko, tight shoe Zarko. Zarko was going to get a top seven. He was, Zarko was having a great race. And then Mir decides to bowling ball him. Right, takes him out, and then Sideshow Bob, aka Alex Renz, right? He runs into Jack Miller, and Miller looked at him like, Do you know who you're messing with, bro? I'm the Australian Mark Marquez. You keep messing with me, you can wake up with a koala bear on your land looking at you like this. That's what koala bears do, they just but they get them big ass claws and make you go, I think this koala bear could mess me up, but I don't play right. I, I mean, but in his defense, even Dobie said. That corner where he ran into uh, Jack Miller, they built it, and Dobie said it was stupid the way they built it because you can take two lines in, and if you take the wide line, you can converge and hit somebody. You take the, it, it, so, in a way, yeah, but still, that was horrible, man. That, that almost crashed him, and so I don't know what got into Team Suzuki, but man, they, they were Team Wrecking Ball. Miley Cyrus should have been their spokesperson for this weekend because they were killing people, man. The, 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 his wing fell off. Uh, like I said, Mir took out Zarko. And they were actually running good. How about Mir uh, getting first place in the uh, in the team warm in the warm up? So anyway, um, um, uh, I didn't really want to address it, but uh, our rest in peace to a ride in peace to uh, the rider uh, Frizda uh, Munandar from uh, on the uh, the Asian Rookies Cup uh, who lost his life in the race. No one it shouldn't happen to anybody, but like I always say, he died doing what he loved to do, loved what he doing, loved what he did. And uh, that's why it's hard, sometimes so hard to, to, even though I'm making fun and having good times, and we all know it is, it's kind of hard sometimes because you see what can happen. That's why I like I lay off of Lorenzo, even, you know, because this is what could happen. It's motorsports, man, and that's what happens in motorsports. I mean, that's why it's more dangerous than any other sport there is. I mean, in tennis, you know, oh, well, that lady who broke her leg in tennis. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. So, uh, ride in peace to him. Uh, God bless him and his family. It was nice touch by the riders not to celebrate on the podium 
and and mentioned his name, so it was good. So anyway, uh, I think that's about it. So if you guys leave me a comment, if you guys know of any athlete, present athlete that is mentally stronger than Mark is, I want to know about it. And of all time, I put him next to Michael Jordan of all time for being able to compartmentalize injuries and everything going on in your personal life and to be able to race. Marquez is incredible. Anyway, that's it. It's about my fourth time doing this uh, uh, review, but uh, so I appreciate you guys watching it. I got one more before it's all over for the season, so it's been a good season. So leave a, uh, leave a comment. I think that's all I want to talk about. So thank you guys for watching. Until then, it's BTC and you know the word. Burn.